Roger Hodson's going to be at the Borgata tomorrow night, but for the very first time in God, I don't know how long, Roger, you will be at the Keswick on November 1st. Welcome back to Philadelphia when you get here. Hey, I'm looking forward to that one. Can you remember the last time you played Philly proper? My gosh, um, I can't. I might have done it in 98. Uh Uh Uh-huh. Maybe as a a small solo show, but... uh before that, my God, probably 83 with Supertramp. The last time we spoke, you had uh, that new DVD out of your performance. Will this be, is this like that show where it's you, a guitar, a piano, and your friend on saxophone? No, uh, <laughs> this time I'm actually bringing a full band. Oh, really? And a fabulous band, fantastic band. Does that give you the, uh, the opportunity to do more music than you did before? Well, certain songs um, <clears throat> lend themselves to the stripped down more unplugged um, Mm -hmm. format but uh, people are actually coming back afterwards and saying my my god you sound more like Supertramp than Supertramp they're a fabulous band younger musicians so eager and passionate and uh, just playing their tails off we're having a great time Uh, is there no chance on God's green earth for a Supertramp to ever reform and retour not on God's green earth <laughs> uh, I, I think I think that window's passed. I, I did actually try a couple of years ago when mm-hmm. when Rick Davis, um, who owns the trademark, he went out and uh, with a new version of Super Tramp, and I said, "Listen, I'll, I'll get up and join you a few times if you want, as and when my schedule permits." But uh, he didn't. Uh, he didn't go for that idea. So right, well, I don't think it's going to happen now. All right. Well, you put out the olive branch. That's all we could ask. You know, a few weeks ago, I was on vacation and I said, you know, what? I, I got to get a bunch of new music onto uh, onto my uh, you know iPod. And one of the things that I reached for was uh, even in the quietest moments. Uh huh. Are you the Eastern thinker? Are you Babaji? I'm not Babaji, but I'm the Eastern thinker. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that album takes you to a whole nother place, especially in yeah. headphones. Yeah, that was a very, um, I was really heavily searching then and, and uh, into yoga and meditation and and I'd, I'd read a book autobiography of a yogi and found out about Babaji so yes that album was full of uh, eastern content if you like but you're the dreamer I'm the dreamer as well uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean you know I was I was a major force in the band I mean it was my what, whatever was going on with me definitely made its way into the into the albums and, uh, you know, I was passionate about the music, I was passionate about the band, and uh, obviously what I wrote about was what was very personal to me. From Crime of the Century, Crisis, What Crisis, Quietest Moments, and then Breakfast in America was very reflective of what was happening in my life. Now, Rob brought this up. We spoke about this the last time. I'm not sure how many people uh, actually know it, but as long as we were talking about the logical song, the Coleco video game. Right. How did that get involved in the song? Well, we took so long making albums. A couple of the other members of the band just used to hang out in the kitchen playing this video game. Mm-hmm. Uh, what would they call the Coleco? I've just got it actually on eBay because we're going to add it into the, sh- the set. Oh, live. God, that's funny. Yeah, this, this small little um, Mattel football game. I kept on hearing this sound coming through the doors and suddenly thought, well, that's, that would be great on Logical if it you know, gets the word digital. So we, uh-huh. we added it. So are you saying there's, uh-huh. a, there's a member of the new band that's going to be playing the video game? If the actual um, machine will uh, behave itself and beho- perform on time. And perform on we'll time. Have to <laughs> and do it that way. So you'll have to fail it fourth down at just the right moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Roger Hudson is coming back to town. He will be at the Borgata in the music box at the Borgata tomorrow night and then right here in Philly, November 1st at the Keswick Theater. Roger, thank you so much, and I can't wait till you get here. I'm so looking forward to it. Hope to see you there. There's not a lot